This past week, I made videos on how to set up a Power BI development environment. Quite a few of you seem to enjoy them. However, I didn't cover one thing. And that one thing is how you can set up parameters so you could also switch your data environment as your Power BI report moves from dev to test and to production. Because just like you would have a dev test in production for Power BI, you also are likely going to have a dev test and production for your data environment. Now, the way that I have set up a dev test and production for this video is I've created three unique schemas. So I've created a test schema, a production schema, and a dev schema. And this tool that I'm using is the new Databricks free edition, which shout out if you want to learn how to sign up for that and what it is, I'll link a video down below in the video description. But each one of these schemas contains the same table customers. And in this scenario, what we're going to have happen is we're going to have our Power BI report as it moves through our deployment pipeline, also switch which schema it's connecting to. So here we are in Microsoft Power BI with a blank file open. What I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to click get data, go to more, and then I'm going to search for Databricks. And once this loads, I'm going to select Databricks, not Azure Databricks. And I'm going to hit connect. And it's going to want a few different variables here. And those variables I can get from my SQL warehouse. So if I go over here to connection details, I am simply just posting in the server host name, the HTTP path, and then I'm setting right over here, do, 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 my default catalog, and I'll set it to if we expand this, go all the way back to workspace, and then my database will be dev. And let's go ahead and let's click OK and let this load. And then I'll go ahead and I will sign in right here. And I'll hit sign in with Microsoft. And once this loads, I will select my Databricks account. And I'll hit connect. And we'll let this load. And then once it has, we will jump into Power Query. As you can see right here, I'm going to select workspace.dev.customers. And then I'm going to hit transform data. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into advanced editor and I'm going to take a look at where I'm specifying this database. So as you can see right here, I'm specifying the database right here in dev. And then I'm also specifying the database right here in schema. So I'm then going to parameterize that. How I'm going to do that is I'm going to click Manage Parameters. I'm going to click New, and then I'm going to title this Schema, and I'm going to set the current value to Dev. So now that I have a parameter called Schema, what I can then do is I can then go back over here, and I can scroll all the way over, and I can set this to Schema. And then I also can set this one right here to Schema, and then I can go ahead and I can hit done. And as what you'll see is that this table will still load. And by the way, I'm going to rename this to customers because, well, it's still being passed the exact same values. Now, I just parameterized the schema, but you could parameterize almost anything about this connection, right? If your dev test and production environments are actually truly different environments, for example, you could parameterize your way to those different environments. So now that I have this file, and I'll go ahead and we'll just insert in a dumb visual, right? So we'll insert in a table with city. What I can then go ahead and do is I can publish this up. And I can publish this up. And let me save this as demo. I can publish this up into my dev environment. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to publish it up there. Now, while this is publishing up, let's talk about what we're going to do next. What we're going to do is we're going to go into our deployment pipeline and we're going to set rules. Now, those rules are going to be, hey, when you deploy to test, change the parameter value to test. Hey, when you deploy from test to production, change the parameter value to production. So. Jumping all the way back in to 
uh, Microsoft Power BI here. <laughs> and let, let, let's let this load. What you'll see is here is our demo report. So if we go over here and we go into deployment pipelines, what you'll see is here is our pipeline. Now I'm going to just start by switching us out of the new environment. And then what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to hit this compare button. And as you can see, it's identified the two reports that we want to deploy. So, or the two, the semantic model in the report that we want to deploy. Now, I'm not going to make you watch me deploy this semantic model from dev to test to prod because that can take a little bit of time. But jumping back into the computer, you'll see that I have deployed it all the way up through these environments. Now, when I click this little lightning bolt right here, what I can then do is I can select my semantic model and then I can set a parameter rule. So in this case, right, I had a parameter called schema, so I can change the schema to test, right? And I can hit save. And then I can do the exact same thing over here in production, right here by clicking demo, and then going right here, clicking add rules, schema, other, change it to production. Now, what this means is that when the Power BI report deploys into each one of these environments, it's going to go ahead and it's going to switch the schema via the parameter as it deploys into each environment. Isn't that cool? All right, now I already had deployment pipelines built. So if you wanna learn how to do that, check out the video down below in the video description where I walked you through how to build this whole initial setup that I'm using in this video. And with that, if you liked this video, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.